So I was sitting down watching Sunday Night Football, and my bears are getting shellacked, and I found myself massively bored. So I needed a distraction from the shit stain that was the bears' performance on Sunday night. I'm very bored. I'm like, what am I going to do? I wasn't nearly bored enough to flip over and watch Clash of Champions live because that would be a whole different level of boredom. But bored nonetheless. So, as you can see, I cut my own hair, did some other things, and then I just got fiddling around on the internet. And for some particular reason, the curiosity bug bit me. I'm like, I wonder what's going on with TNA. I wonder what's been going on with Impact every week. I just wonder what's going on with the company. So if you remember, I used to do Impact reviews every week. I would review all of the TNA pay-per-views. And then a while back, I just kind of gave up on the company for a variety of reasons. Most certainly of which you could include in that is that I felt the company was a sinking ship and I wanted to emotionally remove myself from it before I got any further deeper in uh, knowing it would only eventually lead to disappointment. I think many others have followed my um, <laughs> my path. Some have stuck it out. And you are brave, brave souls indeed. Uh, now, the product, when I stopped watching, stunk to me. I hear reports that it's better. I, I believe that some of the roster is actually more impressive to me than WWE because I look at some of the TNA roster and... They actually look like wrestlers. They actually feel like professional wrestlers. You know, novel concept. Professional wrestling business, you have guys that actually feel like characters, feel like professional wrestlers. So, I'm sitting there, and maybe it was part of the thing about the leader decay and uh, broken Matt Hardy and the awesomeness of that horrendousness that that is. I decided, hey, I'm going to go to impactwrestling.com. Oh, God, do I fucking regret that decision. TNA. Your website is shit. Fix this. Now. I mean, good God almighty. I've seen websites for back that were better laid out and more effectively constructed than what ImpactWrestling.com is. Where do I even begin? You know, first off, and this kind of always goes into one of TNA's biggest problems, is their TNA is the name of the company, but their Twitter handle is at Impact Wrestling. Are you trying to promote just the show, or are you trying to promote the entire brand? Can you imagine where people would maybe be confused? I'm looking for TNA, and instead I've got Impact Wrestling. Is this just the show's Twitter feed? Is there an actual Twitter feed for the company itself? So now you go to impactwrestling.com. Now, instead of being a smart company and saying, hey, our company name is TNA, let's actually purchase TNA.com, that web domain, and if anything, have it reroute to impactwrestling.com, but that's what the fuck you want to do. No, no, no. You type in TNA.com, and it pulls up some crappy clothing, whatever the fuck site. It's probably some undercover Don West scam shit straight out of the TNA warehouses of wherever the fuck it is that they haven't gotten evicted out of yet. Holy hell. That's the first problem in and of itself. But once you actually get to site, it's where it really goes to fucking shit. I'm sitting there, and I sat there and said that I've seen backyard feds with better wrestling sites. I mean it. This looks like the epitome of chop shop wrestling dirt sheet bullshit websites if I've ever fucking seen it. The type of dirt sheet site that rips off all of its news from Meltzer or Keller or Johnson or one or two of the other guys. Well, frankly, that's 98% of the remaining dirt sheets out there. But it doesn't even look like a good version of it. You know, like Wrestling Inc. is largely a chop shop. Uh, they occasionally will have their own stories, but for the most part, they're chopping and pasting from other places. Uh, but at least their site looks halfway decent. It feels like a professional website. It feels like the type of website that a company like Tim TNA should have, you know, at impactwrestling.com. How the fuck is Raj Geary a thousand times better at constructing a website than TNA? And this is not just to sit there and be negative for the sake of being negative. If you've ever been to this site, there is no spinning it. This site is complete and total bullshit. I've seen WordPress sites that look better than this. This is what it looked like. A crappy WordPress site 
where the idiot putting the site together is a ham and egger first timer and doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. And instead of trying to figure out how to actually put a site together, you're just going to plug in a bunch of fucking video URLs for YouTube clips. It's like a YouTube shooter's webpage, only not nearly as good or entertaining. I mean, the site looks terrible, just visually. Looks ridiculous. And then to top it all off, I haven't kept up with the product. I don't know that much about the product. I would like to find out maybe a little bit about the product when I go to your fucking site. And one of the major components of finding out about the product is who's actually on the roster and who the damn champions are. Now, if I don't have to go scrolling all the way through to the freaking bottom to see this asshat is the X Division champion, knowing who's the world champion, the knockouts champion, I'd be fucking lost. I shouldn't have to sit there and do all this searching to find out who's on the roster. The point being is there is no roster page on the fucking ImpactWrestling.com website. Who in the bluest of blue fucks this, thinks that this is a good idea? Who in the bluest of blue fucks decided, hey, what's the way we could design the crappiest wrestling website in the history of wrestling websites? Oh, I don't know. If anybody wants to come and see who's actually on our roster, let's not bother actually creating a roster page where you can clearly and easily see who the champions are, like TNA used to have, where you can actually see who's on the roster, like TNA used to have. Like, for all the things with this company that have gotten worse as the years gone along, you would have thought the one thing that they could have gotten right was the website. You would think that's the one thing, the small controllable, that you could sit there and say, man, we're going to knock it out of the park. This product may stink to kingdom come, and our audience might be a third of the size that it was four or five years ago, but by God, our social media presence is going to be outstanding, and we're going to know how to use it. Of course, they don't. We're going to sit there and have the best-looking wrestling website in the business, and of course, they don't. How in the hell did they let their site get so fucking bad? And who in the hell thinks it's a good idea to not have a damn roster on the website? Other than the stupid crappy video clips, like I said, from a website that looks like a dumb YouTube shooter put it together, I have no clue who is on that fucking roster. So for somebody like me who's being disenfranchised by the WWE product more and more on a weekly basis, who still wants to like professional wrestling and is looking for something, you know, there's still a piece of my heart that belongs to TNA. As a wrestling fan, I'd like to maybe say, hey, you know, maybe come 2017, once football season's over, maybe I can go back and give them another shot. But if they don't give a fuck, why should I? And when I'm trying to figure out who's on the roster, oh, it's great. You've got Damian Sandow. You've got Cody Rhodes. Oh, that's cool. Who else is on the fucking roster? I shouldn't have to go searching on other wrestling websites to find out who the fuck works for TNA. I should be able to go to TNA's website, which should be fucking called TNA or TNAwrestling.com, not dumbdickimpactwrestling.com, to find out who the fuck is on the roster. Unbelievable. And then I, when I'm on the website, I'm, I'm wondering legitimately, because I don't know. And this, this kind of tells you how removed I've become from it. I don't know if they do live events, if they do live events, when those live events are. I don't know what night of the week their television show is on. I don't know. I know they've got Bound for Glory coming up. But again, I had to find out about that from somebody else, not the actual website. You know, But that's not necessarily the website's fault. But I don't even know what the full match card is for Found for Glory. I don't know what network they're on for television. I don't know what time they're on for television. I don't know what day of the week it's on. And it just, what a discombobbled fucking mess. If anything else, if two things that your website should hit 100% every single time is being able to tell you who the fuck works on the show and when the fuck you're going to be able to see them and where the fuck you're going to be able to see them. Like, even if you sat there and they're still recording the Impact Zone, and again, I don't fucking know. And in part, the website doesn't help me who fucking know. You know, if you're going to have your tapings at the Impact Zone or wherever the fuck you're taping them now, why not even have something posted on your website that sits there and says, hey, come be a part of the TNA experience. Hey, why don't you do this? Hey, why don't you do that? Hey, oh, we're in over our fucking head. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. 
I can't believe somebody like a Billy Corgan takes a look at this website and feels any sort of pride whatsoever. I, 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 it, it just absolutely blows my ever-loving fucking mind. And of course, the people involved in this company are too fucking stupid to listen. They are too fucking stupid to ever change anything for the positive. The defenders of this company, who still ride or die with these broke motherfuckers, will sit there and try to excuse this. This just fucking sucks. This is not good. I realize TNA in the past has had problems paying some of their talent on time. Did they forget to pay the webmaster? Or did they just find the first homeless guy that could do it for fucking free, thinking he could go on to dial up Prodigy Internet and fucking do this shit? Holy crap. And then furthermore, on top of all of that, the biggest single problem is was when I went to the website, in spite of the fact that I couldn't find out who the fuck was on the roster, in spite of the fact I don't know when the shows are, where they're at, anything like that, I have absolutely no clue who this company is, what they're about, what they represent, and where they want to go. This has been a problem for this company for years, and I realize there's a bit of flux with ownership and different things, so this company's trying to figure it out. But you got to be able to present some type of front that indicates, this is who we are, this is what we want to be, this is where we're going, and this is how the fuck we're going to get there. And instead, I got nothing. And this ultimately comes down to the identity problem of you can fucking confuse people because your company's called TNA, your show's called Impact Wrestling, but your Twitter handle and your website are both named after the TV show and not the actual goddamn wrestling company. Imagine how stupid that would be if WWE's primary Twitter handle was at Raw or at WWE Raw, at WWE SmackDown. Now, if they had Twitter handles for those shows to complement the main at WWE Twitter handle, that could make some sense. It's another way to potentially increase your social media presence. But of course, no, no, no. TNA can't have an actual TNA Twitter handle and an Impact Wrestling Twitter handle. They're fucking stupid and they have everything compiled into one. That, again, is not the name of the company. Same as the website is not the name of the actual company. If this is what you're going to do, then make that the name of the damn company. And this has been my problem with this company for years. No vision, no direction, and dropping the ball on basic, easy shit. Like promoting and marketing their brand. You know, TNA, who's in a position of they need all the types of free publicity they can get, they should be fucking desperate. They should be doing everything they fucking can, if they truly gave a shit. They should be coming to people like me and so many others on the internet and asking them to promote their product. And you probably wouldn't even have to pay half of these knuckleheads. Have them actually talk about this shit. Get them engaged in it. Get them involved in this shit. But no, no, no. TNA doesn't want to do that. No, no, no. TNA is too busy designing perhaps the crappiest wrestling website in the history of wrestling websites. And that includes all the crappy chop shop wrestling dirt sheet sites that are available on the interwebs today. God, TNA. Now, here I am sitting there thinking, ah, maybe I'll give these guys another shot. And my first impression of your product after a few months is your website? Why the fuck would I waste my time with this company? You can't even get that right. Your website is shit, TNA. Fix it now.